long multiplication. 356 times 46. We start off with a 6 in the 1's column. 6 times 6, followed by 6 times 5, and then 6 times 3, in that order. Let's start off with step 1. We're going to put some columns in so that we don't get confused. Step 1. 6 times 6 equals 36. We put the 6 down in the column and we carry the 3 to the next column, which we're going to add on in the next calculation. Step 2. 6 times 5 equals 30. Plus that 3 we add is 33. So we put the 3 down and now we're going to carry the 3 over. Step 3. 6 times 3 equals 18, plus a 3 equals 21. We put the 1 down and we create another column to put the 2 into. Now we've finished with that part of the question. We're going to move on to the 4. Before we do, we're going to get rid of the numbers we've carried so that we don't get confused. Okay, 4. The 4 is in the tens column. That's important because it's really 40. We're multiplying. So the 4 is really 40. So therefore, we have to put a 0 down in the 1's column because the 4 is in the tens column. Now let's look at the steps. 4 times 6, then it's 4 times 5, and then 4 times 3 in that order. And we start off by putting our answer in the blue circle. Step 1. 4 times 6 equals 24. We put the 4 down and we carry the 2. Step 2. 4 times 5 equals 20 plus the 2 equals 22. We'll put the 2 down and we carry the 2. Step 3. 4 times 3 plus 2 would be 14. So we'll put the 4 down and we have to create another column to put the one into. Now we add these two numbers up. 6 plus 0 equals 6. 3 plus 4 equals 7. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 4 plus 2 equals 6. And 1 plus 0 equals 1. And let's count the numbers, three numbers from the right, to put a comma in. 16,376. The answer is 16,376. Thank you for listening.